Merry Christmas, you guys. Uh, hope everybody's doing okay. I uh, wanted to do an update with you guys. Uh, I haven't posted a video in like a week and a half, but I uh, didn't want to leave you hanging. Um, I know everybody's going to be busy for Christmas and the holidays, uh, but wanted to update you on what I've been up to and what I am waiting on um, and what videos are in the works right now. Uh, right now, underneath the Christmas tree here in my office, um, I have got an assortment of parts and we are still waiting on more parts because this is the time of year where everything takes forever to ship because everybody's shipping their Christmas presents and stuff. But we have a ton of parts coming for the 1976 International Scout 2, the one we did the LS swap on. Well, ever since we did the swap, uh, the, the owner's been putting off doing the brakes and, you know, interior and a few other things, but uh, he has decided that it is time to do the brakes, to make the vehicle safe, to drive with his family. Um, so we are waiting on those parts to show up. Um, we've, we've got some of the brake hoses right now. Um, no, rear brake hardware. We uh, got the master cylinder. Uh, one front caliper waiting on another one um, some rear brake shoes uh, a couple wheel cylinders um, and yeah waiting on a mat uh, brake booster and self-adjusting hardware kit two of them uh, they're getting tied up in new jersey or something like that i don't know you know but anyways uh yeah, so that's what we're waiting on. We're gonna, we're definitely gonna film that, um, but just waiting on the parts. I think the 22nd they're gonna be coming in. Uh, we're also working on an update video for you guys on some of the vehicles at Colorworks, uh, as well as um, an interview I am uh, trying to put together of a uh, family friend of mine who has a 69 Plymouth Roadrunner. Um, that he bought brand new really cool car. He's owned it its entire life and uh, He's really you know, he's really curated this vehicle and uh, and held on to it and uh, Taken really good care of it and he rarely ever drives it. So hoping we can get the uh, the backstory on that This guy grew up in Lincoln here um, His entire life and he has amazing stories that I definitely want to share with you guys because I've spent a lot of time at his home listening to his stories and uh it, it it's really you know i love the fact that uh that i'm going to help him share these things with you so they're not lost in the uh in the plethora of time and space and um i just think it's really awesome uh that uh that these stories will get to live on also uh, there is a vehicle parked out here on my lot that I am dying to get a hold of the owner and uh, <laughs> and get him out here so that we can take a look at this vehicle. Um, I find it really interesting and I think some of the younger guys on here are going to find this interesting. Uh, but yeah, let's go take a look at it. <laughs> so check this thing out. Freaking monster right here. Look at that. It's a Nissan 240SX, uh, early 90s. Uh, but this thing is just radical. All the uh, all the modifications to it. Just really interesting car. And uh, can't really see inside right now. But uh, but it looks like a little drifter. Uh, Really neat. I'm going to get a hold of the guy and see if we can get him out here to uh, show us around his car and just, you know, I'm not even sure if it runs. I wasn't here when he, uh, he brought it in, but um, seriously, look at the diffuser. Got room for a little parachute, fun stuff, but yeah, so definitely going to get a hold of this guy. I think this would make a fun video and uh, hopefully this thing runs because I'd like to see what it does. So I'll be reaching out to him, definitely. Uh, we also have the uh, the Merc <laughs> that I did in a, a way earlier video. I've been working with the owner to try and find some time uh, to 
to get started on the work. Problem is we've been trying to uh, uh, find out what kind of radiator that Joe Balin put in the car. Um, but I think we're just gonna go with an aftermarket newer radiator, uh, something from Wizard or Champion or something. Um, just something reliable so he can start cruising that car to car shows. And winter's a perfect time though. We have a lot of rain going on right now so it's a perfect time to to dive into that project and get that thing uh going for the owner uh so that um you know you guys can go and enjoy cars like that on the show it's really a work of art um so let's head in the office and we'll talk about a few other things so here it is this this little corner of heaven this is my office um, I don't think I've ever taken you guys in here before, uh, but uh, yeah, you know, got my uh, original Piranesi print, of course, got to have all my, my junk hanging on the walls and stuff, and, um, my chair, camera equipment. And, you know, just being a good citizen, I guess. So also, I thought it was cool. Uh, every year, my employee and I, we do a gift exchange. And uh, this year, he always gets me something Mustang. So before the, the twins were born, um, my youngest kids, uh, I had to sell my 65 uh, C-Code Mustang Coupe. Um, and I'd spent a lot of time working on it and, you know, swapped it to a manual transmission. It was a C4 automatic and, uh, with a manual conversion, went with an old three speed. Um, I wanted to keep it, you know, I'm kind of a purist when it, when it comes to my own vehicles, but, uh, but yeah, so every year he gets me gifts and, uh, this year got me a little metal sign, which I thought was neat. Um, and this, I thought was really thoughtful. Uh, this is actually a clock cut out of vinyl. It looks like you've got a 67, 68 fastback on it. Really cool. I thought it was incredibly thoughtful from him. Um, he always puts a lot of thought into his gifts, you know, even if it's uh, something that doesn't cost much money, there's always a lot of thought in it and I really appreciate it he's a he's a great guy great guy couldn't ask for a more reliable person uh, to employ either this guy's just super reliable but uh but anyways so yeah I'm hoping you guys have a fantastic Christmas um, you know we're busy my office is full of uh, toys right now from the kids we're hiding them from them and uh you know i'm busy uh putting putting together some new projects for you guys to watch and tracking down the parts we need to uh complete these projects but we are going to uh to keep you guys updated there's a lot of stuff going on over at colorworks um also a lot of these vehicles here i am uh i'm definitely going to be filming all of it for you guys and uh i hope you guys enjoy and i hope you guys have a merry christmas and a happy new year. Uh, my birthday's coming up. It's December 30th. And uh, it's like the one one night that the wife and I get to go on a date together. Um, because, you know, having all these kids, it's really hard to get away from the kids. And uh, I'm really excited about it. And I will keep you guys up to date. And uh, thank you so much for, for being a subscriber. Uh, or just, you know, checking and watching this for the first time. And if you are watching this for the first time, I hope you guys come back and take a look at some of the vehicles uh, that we're going to be working on. If not, you can definitely check out some of the vehicles that we have worked on. Um, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. That's okay. If it's not for you. All right. Maybe it's for somebody else. But thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. See you soon.